Hey everybody, this is Tom, and in this video I'm going to talk about number systems. So, number systems probably began a really long time ago, uh, when some tribe or some person decided that they wanted to have a way to keep track of maybe how many animals they killed, or how many uh, spear tips they made, or how many people were in the village, who knows. Uh, so, what they did was they would create a tally. And they often did this, and, and we can see evidence of this, or at least it's what we assume this stuff to be, uh, where they would just, you know, make these marks on a stick or something. Okay, so maybe they would have the, these marks like this, and let's say they wanted to, to check later on that they actually have the same amount. Well, they don't have the same concept of counting like we do. They wouldn't do something like, hey, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because they didn't have numbers. They didn't have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They just had, you know, marks on a stick. So we don't actually know what they would do, but, you know, you could assume maybe they did something like get another stick and once again, look at things. And every time they saw the thing they wanted, they would make another mark. Then they might look at these and be like, hey, they're the same. Awesome. I've got everything I needed or these amounts of things are the same okay and if the things were if there's a lot more you know they're gonna need more marks uh, it, it they're probably gonna make more marks uh, as far as as that goes then you know you can look at and just tell right away that those are the same amounts so we don't actually know too much about what they did with the sticks or why they marked those notches or or anything like that but the first number system was very likely just single lines, notches on a stick. Uh, later on, other number systems came around. Uh, you know, we have uh, Roman numerals. We've, we've probably all seen Roman numerals. Uh, that's going to be, you know, something like this. Okay, so that's a, a Roman numeral. Uh, we have, uh, well, if you're, if you go to China, you know, they've got They've got things, other number systems. So, you know, this is four, this is five, and everything like that. Uh, and then the system that most people use today, or at least that's the common system used around the world, is the base 10 system. So, base 10 is what we use, or the decimal system. And base 10, some counting systems are base 10, some are base 60, some are base 2, and we're going to talk about those differences soon. Uh, but base 10 uh, just means that we're counting in groups of 10. So we have 10 fingers, so it was kind of natural for us to count in base 10. So in our system, you know, we start at, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine okay now you might be saying hey i didn't put zero here and that's true i didn't put zero there but that's because zero actually came a lot later and we are going to put zero in and i'm going to put it here but it's not really part of this group of nine digits so all of these we just call digits and so this this is a placeholder and what i mean by placeholder is this when people first started counting in base 10 uh, or in these number systems, they, they, they realized that things like, you know, writing this and then having to write, uh, you know, tally marks or writing Roman numerals can be kind of bothersome. It takes a lot of time. So in base 10, they came up with a way to shorten it. So every one of these digits gets reused again and again and again, and they made them simple enough that you could write them quickly. So why is it called base 10? What do we use the zero for? Well, we know base 10 because of our fingers and we've got, uh, well, we've got 10 things here. We've got one is a zero, but we've got nine digits here. So when we get to the 10th thing or the last thing here, what do we do? Well, all of these are just counting one to nine. And we could make a symbol for 10. You know, I could make a symbol like, you know, here's my symbol for 10, that stands for 10. But we don't want to do that. We want to reuse what we have. So what we do, and of course we all know this, we're going to put 10 in here. So what does this, what do these actually mean here? Well, 
the one just stands for we have one set of these numbers here. So we've we've counted up to ten. So this is once again our tens place. And you know this is just place value. This is the ones place value, the tens, and then if I have a number like, you know, this, this is my ones, this is my tens, this is my hundreds, this is my thousands. And we can actually do this with other number systems. So for example, if I want to do something with a base three number system, well, what would a base three number system look like? Well, I could start at one, I could go to two, okay? So let's go, I got my zero here, I got one, I got two. And then what do you do? Well, base 10 says I've got these digits here. Base three says I only got, I only have these digits, only so many to work with. So when I get to here, I can't put anything there. So actually, in a base three number system, it would be this. So in a base three system, the number three is this. Now you want to say this is 10, but it's not 10. It's saying I have one group of these, or I have one, two, I've counted up to two, and this zero is now telling me that I am at the three. And if I wanted to count, so this would be our table for base three here, uh, base three would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if I'm counting this in base three, so this is base 10 and this is base three, this is going to be one, two, okay. Okay, and let me match these up here. Dump, 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 dump. And I ran out of room for seven, but you can probably predict that this is going to be 21. Okay, so that's base three. And you can do this with any number system. It doesn't matter at all. If I want to use, I don't know, if I want to use base five or base six or whatever, I can do that. But some other number systems go a little bit further than that. They say things like base 16. Okay, so if I'm going to count in a base 16 number system, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Got my placeholder of zero. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now what do I do? Well, you might say go ahead and put one and zero here, but that implies that I'm all the way back here at the beginning, that I am I have one group of everything here and the zero is the placeholder. And when I say placeholder, I just mean it's an empty spot. It's just keeping space there. So when we get this in base 16, and base 16 is actually called hexadecimal, okay, we need to use another symbol. We no, no longer use numbers. We now turn to the alphabet. So I have A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay, so now I've got base 16. And I've used different symbols here to represent those. So if you want to write some numbers in base 16, you do it like this. So let's uh, let's pick some easy ones first. Let's just say I want to write make a nice little table here. This is base 10 and this is base 16. So let's say I pick the number 14 in, in hexadecimal. So I count up to 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 is going to be E. Okay, and things like 9, well 9 is just 9, but let's do something a little bit harder here. So let's do 20. So what is 20 in hexadecimal? Well, if I count up here, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, now I come back here for 16. So what I actually end up with is I end up with 1 and the placeholder, okay? So that would be placeholder would be 16, make this 16. And then 17, 18, 19, 20. So in base 16, the number over here, 14, is actually 20. And if I put 27, well, I would count from here. 
one, two, three, four, five. Well, I was just doing 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. It's going to be 1B. Okay, so hexadecimal is just a base 16 number system, but instead of instead of looping back around here, I just added some more symbols. And this is the cool thing about number systems is you can make your own number system doing this. You can pick your own symbols. You don't need to use one, two, three, four. You can pick whatever you want and make up your own number system. You can make any base. You can make base, you know, 42 if you want and make the world's greatest number system out of base 42. And uh, I mean, if you go back to Babylonians, they had a base 60 number system. Uh, and, and they had their reasons for it. Like 60 could be divided by so many different things. It was very divisible, so they used that. Uh, other people, I think the Mayans had a base 20 base system. Uh, base 20 system. And I can't remember the exact reason for that. But a lot of different cultures have different based number systems. Some have 12, some have 15, some have whatever. And they all chose their number system because it suited them or suited their situation in some way that was beneficial. And we chose a base 10 because it's very easy to do mathematics with. It's very easy to do math in a base 10 number system as opposed to a base 16 or anything like that. Now, base 2 number system is called binary. And the binary system is what is used in computers. And in the next video, I'm going to talk exclusively about the base 2 number system, why we use it, and how you can go from a decimal to a binary base number system or a base 2 system. Okay, so see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, leave them in the comment section. Thank you.